in the coming days. Thank you very much to our panelists, Dr. Ranganathan and General Pandey. Do stay on with us. We'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, quickly taking our viewers through with uh, something that's uh, developed. It's been uh, a while since we've uh, spoken about this, but it's more than two weeks since this uh, entire incident happened. It is uh, after the deadly AI-171 crash that killed all but one of the 242 people on board. Investigators and the airline are now looking into whether both the engines of the plane failed, which may have caused the Boeing 787 to lose control and crash. This has been reported by Bloomberg. While malpractice has not been ruled out, a technical snag seems to be the most likely cause identified thus far. Pilots from the airline reenacted the doomed aircraft's parameters in a flight simulator, including with the landing gear deployed and the wing flaps retracted. They found that those settings alone didn't cause the crash, the report claimed. Emergency power turbine deployed soon after takeoff. Technical failure, possible cause, is what the net takeaway is. The probability has shifted the focus to technical failure, which may be a possible cause. That's the report uh, has quoted, and it's also quoting the same people who conducted the simulator test. And according to the report, an analysis of the wreckage also suggests the wing flaps and the slats, which help an aircraft increase lift during takeoff, were extended correctly. The pilots who died in the crash sent out a mayday signal shortly after takeoff. They were only about 15 seconds between the distress call and impact. Two people familiar with the investigation confirmed to Bloomberg. So, pilots from the plane used the flight simulator to recreate the flight using uh, pilots from the airline. Beg your pardon, pilots from the airline used a flight simulator to recreate the flight using the same conditions, such as landing gear being down, wing flaps being pulled in. Uh, they found that these settings alone did not lead to the crash. Bloomberg reported further that uh, people involved in the investigation also corroborated this. This finding, along with earlier evidence that an emergency power unit switched on just seconds before the crash, has made investigators focus more on a possible technical fault as one of the reasons for the accident. Did something happen on ground during the fueling process? Could it be contaminated fuel? Could it be some other corroboration which led to the double engine failure, dual engine failure? We've told you in the past that Boeing 787 has a unique feature that is the central fuel tank that is used for takeoff, for fueling the engines during takeoff, after which the individual fuel tanks of both the right and left side, then they are the ones that pump the fuel towards the engines. Now, Flight simulation is done using computer models and the aim is to recreate a virtual environment of flying an aircraft. This includes how the aircraft moves, how it reacts to the pilot's controls and how it responds to things like wind, air, pressure and also turbulence. In Air India's case, it was done to determine what could have led to the fatal crash in June. AI, after AI-171, out of 33 Boeing Dreamliners that the Air India operates at present, Air India has now completed the regulatory maintenance checks post-June 12th accident on 29 of these aircraft. Four of these B-787 aircraft or the Dreamliners are currently undergoing pre-scheduled maintenance process and simultaneously the airline has also begun maintenance checks on other aircraft in its field fleet including the Boeing 777 fleet. Currently Air India operates 24 such 777 aircraft. Voluntary enhanced checks on all other aircraft are also being done. This is being done in a phased manner to minimize the unavailability of aircraft because that can disrupt operational schedules, flight operation. And this is to also maintain smooth, regular operations. Meanwhile, there is uh, another exclusive on the AI-171 investigation aspect. Investigators are in the second phase of examining the data recorded from Ahmedabad ATC radar and also other equipment. Now the ground-based navigation interrogators are being looked at including ground-based augmentation system and the VOR VHF omnidirectional range, while the GBAS utilizes ground-based reference stations to correct GPS signals, providing enhanced accuracy. The VOR stations transmit signals that provide accurate directional information. Another significant factor being looked at is the airborne satellite-based telemetry, which constantly communicates with the aircraft. Now, this is being analyzed in depth the focus of investigation is on identifying mechanical issues, but investigators are also looking at human factors that may have interrupted the flight. Maintenance logs are being studied along with contributing weather-related factors to determine the root cause of the accident. 
A preliminary report is likely in the second week of July on the above findings. Let us hope we are able to get to the entire bottom of what actually happened and identify the reason why AI-171 crashed within 15 seconds of the takeoff maneuver being taken uh, under play. 33 seconds from the time it just started onto the tarmac, onto the runway. News18.com marches way ahead of the Times of India with 38% more users on native and social platforms. Network 18, the undisputed leader of news networks, way ahead of the Times.